afternoon sports fans. Right, uh, I filmed the video, I filmed it yesterday night, fucking Exodus fucking collection. Uh, made a cunt to it really, because the camera was up my fucking nose basically, you can see the album cover, so I'm going to do it again, just because I'm a nice guy. So, fucking, <laughs> then I go, you're losing your patience, like fucking Dr. Shipman. Your CDs aren't fucking albums. Uh, I'll just go through the fucking albums. Right, right, just watch in there now. Uh, right. First off, a bootleg record I picked up. Kirk Hart plays on it. Before he left, he's going fucking be in the toilet. Pointless fucking bit of fucking cardboard inside of it. Uh, can't remember what colour it is. That's yeah, green. Green bars. It's not actually that bad. It actually sounds better than you would expect it to sound. Though. Being it's a fucking 40 fucking year ago. 40 years ago. Mm. That's the old Exodus logo, that's the old one. Uh, right. And then, of course, the fucking the debut came out. I never got this till about 2007 or something like that. Don't like it. Never listen to it. Like your songs. Don't like your vocals. I just don't like your fucking vocals and it's just fucking. See, I'm a, I'm a Zetro fan. It was, it was Zetro I heard first. So, bite me. Music for Nations LP. Block Box. There's no only fucking sleeve or fuck all. There may be supposed to be one, but I bought this fucking second hand. So, fuck knows. It's not a thrash classic, like. Don't get me wrong. And then, I put this in. Pleasure of the Flesh. I mean, the band artwork. I mean, when you think about the fucking artwork you get in your days, it's like fucking happy days, isn't it? It's the back end of it. It's an OG copy as well, it's not a fucking. I think it got reissued a couple of years ago. But that ain't a real deal. Bond artwork, limited edition of 10,000. Ah, you cunt. <laughs> Fuck. If this goes well, <laughs> I'll do the nuclear assault video. That I had fucking how many attempts at that last thing? Three, wasn't it? Cunt. So that artwork got banned, so. They released it. This is my entry into the band. This is all my heard first. Pleasures of the Flesh, 1985. Fucking classic. Even the carnival with the plastic fucking bones in those. Yeah, dude. Fucking ace. Love it. The intro. Amazing. All the songs on it kill. Every fucking one of them. I got a shot of this on a TDK 90 minute tape. This on one side and it had fucking rain and blood on the other. Shout great steak dingle. <laughs> you know it's for you, isn't it? Uh, lyrics, photos, black box, music for nations. 
They're not bad, Nick, considering it's been fucking 1985. I traded this for a CD. I had the CD of it. Yeah, I traded it for LP. Amazing album. I just fucking love it. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> and then 1989. This came out. Absolute beast of a record is. Every song is now. Uh, it's fucking amazing. This probably is my favourite one. I all the albums. Even more than Pleasure of the Flesh, actually. That. As much as I love that album, it's up their game. On the video yesterday, I was complaining about the fact that it's not got the ACDC cover in it. And then, when I was showing the Temple of the Damned record, it had Dirty Deeds done dirt cheap. So I was going, What the fuck's Dirty Deeds doing on there? But I got a fucking mistake. I got confused. It's overdoses on this. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap is the one that's on the end of fucking Temple Dome. Yeah, it's just got overdoses on it, but only on the cassette. I think my CD's got it. I think it has. Yeah, I always loved the album coming out. Fucking quote. Just fucking that. Lyrics. Black locks again. <laughs> Tom Hunting, rocking a gangrene t shirt. A man of impeccable taste, that has to be said. I've got that shirt as well, two in the fucking head. I fucking love gangrene. But when you hear it talk about gangrene, you talk about Exodus, 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 So uh, Tom Hunting left the band. This is for 1991, was it? 1990. So barely a year later, and you got John Tom Pesta, the drum tech for Arnold Frox. Impact of them, mate. Lyrics in the back, weirdly. Black box as well. Couple records. Gary Holt says it's his best riffs. Has got some beats on it. I remember just, I, I didn't like the fucking drums when I first got it back in the day. It was like, I, I kind of just, I think it was probably just because it was compared to Tom Hunting. He's a fucking animal. But no, just, the, the, even the, the, the sound, the, the production, I didn't the like that much, but I liked the album. Death Decides, hey Wall, Thrash Under Pressure, Impact in it. <laughs> Heads of Wind Tells You Lose. It's got some classics in it, like. Cooler. And then <clears throat> after that, 1991, put out a live album, live EP. So they got songs off the first two albums and the ACDC cover. Taped on my birthday, July 14th, 1988 or 89. Road Racer Records, this one's on some black wax. It's a decent, fucking decent album. Because this is where they got John Tom Pesta plays on here. Anyway. And then, by that time, it was the 90s, right? Look at that. Fucking Pearl Jam, shite to nothing came on the go. Uh, fucking do one. Alice and fucking chains and fucking Pearl Jam and Soundgarden and all that fucking music for degenerates. I've got a flannel shirt and a pair of combats on you. You're a knob. Yes, what you are. Flannel shirt and a pair of combats isn't a fucking differentiator for the fact. But anyway, X, just put this out. Force of habit. This album still gets slagged off by every cunt. I actually don't mind it. <laughs> Couple records. It's, it's not like it's the fucking... 
the go-to album when I'm going to listen to Exodus. Very far from it, but it's all right. It's got a little Elvis Costello cover on it and a fucking uh, Rolling Stones cover. Band the with a fucking heap of lyrics in the back. Force of Habit. Now this must have been 1993, I think. Yeah, would have thought. Like, whenever you need to find it, it's never on the fucking album covers. Oh, fucking bollocks. Look after yourself. It's getting to be a force of habit for getting shit. <coughs> so they swap. And that was all the encounter I'd heard for them for a big fucking four year. They were all fucked up in meth. <laughs> Death on fetum. And then fucking 1987 rocked up and disappeared. A fucking live album. We bail off the vocals. We return our bail off. Okay, fold. Frank, I like to thank Gary, and Tom, Jack and Rick, just for letting me do this, because it's so heavy. Come on, why so heavy? Be well. No, it was a double, oh, why some violence? And then fucking, Nick couldn't hear anything much freedom after that again. Until 2004, but fuck. Jesus. Ten for the dawn. Bailoffs out the picture again. Zet was back. Good album, this like. Good cut mark. Fucking. Really good, fucking strong album. Decent artwork. I think it's a fucking splatter. Uh, red and pink splatter. Oh, hold on. Don't worry, going back, but pay now. Right, so where were we? Oh, I can't look on there. Right, red splatter, red and clear splatter album for the vinyl. I fucking missed them in this tour. If something happened, can you get a fucking run, didn't you? In Glasgow. <coughs> fucking God. Scotch Bangle Banner, fucking blacklist, forward march, still got fist, tent with on, fucking yes, I look, and then Dirty Deeds done that shit. Alright, so. Zetro decided to fucking weave. Well, hold on. Eh. Uh, there's a fucking uh, a release show, a release gig for the fucking Temple Dump. Here we are. Live at DNA 2004. It's not got all the songs on it. But it has got. And it fucking has two minutes. Scar Spang and Banner, Blacklist, Shroud of Unity, Forward March, Culling the Herd, Soup the Fist, Throwing Down, Was My Shepherd, Temple of the Dump. Can't say fucking fair or not. I know it's. Um, I guess it's fucking coloured as well. You're not allowed to say coloured. Oh, fuck. Limited to 500. And I've got 351. Ah, fuck off. 
off, just get in the sleeve, you cunt. Actually, no, it's, it's got a, a DVD go through as well. Fucking double DVD thing, it's fucking long as fuck, say. It's fucking put a lot of songs on it, it's fucking, you don't put anywhere. Alright. And then, fucking. Is that decide to leave again? You had kids, so you wouldn't just even grow up instead of being fucking in the arse end of a tour bus, smoking pot or something. Going, <laughs> So, he got the heave, and then they got the guitar tech, Rob Jukes, to come in and vocals. And uh, Tom Hunt had left as well, ill. So, Paul Bostoff rocked up. Shovelhead kill machine. Saw them on this fucking on this tour, I think. Or was it the tour after? I don't know, but I it must be the one after it because uh, I should write the fucking dates to there, but it's like well no. <laughs> Gatefold as well. Decent album, it's pretty vicious. <laughs> like, apparently, it's named after fucking Gary Holt's dog. So, he comes from Black Wine. Oh. Ah, it's a good album. Fucking. By this point, the Exodus were fucking on top of their game, like fucking. I mean, they're pissing all over everything. Anthrax and fucking Megadeth were doing it at the time, anyway. I mean, this is what, 2006 or something? I can't read it, it's in fucking stupid, right? Fucking. Anthrax were still fucking a bit trying to get Joey Bell done to come back around it. So after that, the Atrocity Exhibition, Exhibit A, I think that's where it's fucking set list was from actually, here's um, it's fucking album. Uh, it will be because it's got that song. Decent use of gate before all there. Let's see if it's colour right. Red what? There's something in here. I don't know what this is. Must just be a poster or something. Thanks, Liz. thought to themselves well the production was shite and fucking the production was shite on uh boiling my blood so it's just really really said be fucking rob jukes and vocals and uh it became a letter everyone decent i like it better than the fucking original no it's fucking great I like how they updated the artwork and that's fucking cool as fuck. Um, I can't mind if it's colour on it. Ah, yeah, it's red. A lot of folk are going, you need to re fucking re record that. It's a classic album and fucking this, that, and that. It's fucking. Fuck off. It's just fucking. It's not up to you, cunts. It's up to Exodus with the DNA. It's fucking. Right, and then uh, I trust the exhibition well the human condition exhibit B 
um, in our shows. Fucking sitting. Oh, it's just black. Like, actually, fuck it. No change there. Ding 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 And then, that was fucking, that was the end of Rob Duke's career in Exodus. He'd say at the best point his kids had grown up, so he thought he'd come back, so they just fucking let him in. <clears throat> right. So, so see, boy, they're different. Oh, it was a fucking set list. It was fucking them, obituary and prong. And I've got Tom Hunton's get, get Tom Hunton's drums drumstick. He jumped off the stage and fucking handed it to me. And Donald Tardy done the same thing. Do you see me? Get crippled, get connected. Um and then that was his fucking set I seen him play, that was in Aberdeen. Got a shout out if he's at the fucking stage as well. <laughs> Some legendary, don't you know? Just ask anybody. Um, blood and play. Quite good as all. It's got some good fucking cheese in it. Yeah. Um, are you sure? I think it's black. I can't fucking remember. Nah, it's just black. And then this is the newest one, Persona non grata. Nice embossed golden fucking logo. Shite you saw gatefold. Fucking pointless. Uh, this is black as well, I think. Peeps, his Exodus is the records. And right, I'll show you the fucking CDs as well, because there's something I want to bring your attention. Right. I fucking bunk. Right. Done it. Right. Right. I should have fucking prepared for this earlier on, but I was fucking usual. I didn't they? Deal. Deal or no deal. Right. Bootleg live album. Bonded by Bail Off. It sounds like a bag of shit. But, what can you do? There's another thing that sounds like shit. Live gigs from 1982, 1983, but it sounds like fucking wank. Born with blood. <laughs> Rick's eyes with the fucking method. <laughs> I'm fucking speeding, boy. It's like a good couple of Rick's I've not got Pleasure of the Flesh on CD, 
So we'll just have to skip that, but we've got fibre disaster. You just see that it's anyway, but fuck it. Nothing is ordinary there, like, just a CD. Good, friendly, violent fun, the live one. It's got fuck all on it, in the car. Impact is a minute. Weapons grade. Yeah, it's just lyrics as well. Force of habit. In a slipcase for some fucking reason. In collective mini album packaging. A room edition re release, lovingly remastered. Artwork restored. No, they might at least have fucking sold it. Just like a record. Thongs listening on it. Yeah, no fucking. They're not asking violence. It's got to be posted. Sign you could blast at this point, so fucking one thing you could salt, you could blast does do the great all in the fucking packaging. Uh, that's fucking you're great like that, it's just lyrics and shit. So I hate kill machine. It's just a fucking you know the score by now. Lyrics and photos and shit. Could it be limited edition? Still don't know why it is. I don't think there's anything fucking different on it. Maybe it's because it's got a slipcase. I fucking don't know. Try and screw in our three fucking could you? Maybe it's because it's got a different artwork. Eh? Ah, because that's new, that's a different artwork. It's maybe that, I reckon. I have no idea. Right, and fucking. Exhibit B. Lyrics and fucking a lot of jazz as well. Nothing really fucking major at sea. Getting to the end of the year. Let out the blood. It's got fuck all in the booklet. Sweet fuck all. And then there was a fucking <coughs> live album. Shovel Head Tour Machine CD and DVD Triple Disc fucking thing <coughs> Decent set looks like a fucking decent gig Blood in Blood Out It came to a fucking ah, Fuck off you cunt A DVD as well I make it off and you know, book of fucking lyrics and stuff. Photos. And then right, here's where I get fucked me off. So the new album's coming out. Persona non grata. And uh, here's this email. Decibel magazine. Fucking um Grab your limited edition persona non gra three hundred copies worldwide. So it's like, oh, I'm a, at least a fucking whore for our shit. So it was like, oh, I'm off my way. I am ordered a fucking thing, right? Stupid fucking shit American postage rates and nothing. So it came in. It came in a box. 
So right, I've got a very good. So to open the fucking box, right, and try and fucking break the fucking rip the fucking thing or damage it. Right? Mine is that. Got the CD, right? So the CD's like like that. So when I looked inside, you can see. I don't know if you'll see in there. You can see there's a fucking. It looks like a white box at the bottom, right? So I fucking got to the bottom, took it. Out. Oh no, fuck all that, it's just a bit of cardboard. <laughs> it's a stopper. So I thought, oh fucking, it's got a Blu ray with it, right? Fair enough. But for being limited to three, you can get the one with a Blu ray anyway. You can fucking. So now you're stuck with a fucking CD they got, and then a fucking stupid box that you're now wanting to fucking throw out because you're, you're, you're not it. But so now your CD sits in the rock with the rest of them, and that just sits along the top. Like a spare prick at a fucking hoorahs. Unbelievable. I was actually going to fucking email Zero and tell him, but it's if he's going to fuck with him. Decent album, though. Big album. Uh, it's quite fucking pummeling. So it's just fucking big clips. I mean, you'd think they could, they could get a fucking couple of bonus fucking trucks or cover or something like that, but no, no, no. But, so that's it, fact. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ordering any more special decibel edition fucking albums. They can fucking, they can roll it in my jail. Uh, Alright, that's Exodus. Fucking hope you enjoyed it. If you did, <laughs> add a like, subscribe, tell your mates. I tell your fucking mates because uh, the, the subscriptions have barely fucking stopped. <laughs> Not much fun to read content really, but fucking well. Um, right, I'll, I'll upload this fucking thing and then I'll, I'll do a nuclear assault one. Because, uh, oh, I do a nuclear assault I might get death metal, I don't know. Eh, you'll get someone to fucking calm down. So, uh, like, subscribe. Thank you to all the other cunts and be good. I'll see you on the flip side.